Hi, my name's Jay, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about Wiki Answers today. Wiki Answers is a branch of Answers.com, which in turn is the world's greatest encyclopedia almanacopedia. It's essentially a virtual library, or an encyclopedia on steroids, if you will, covering about five million topics taken from brand name publishers of reference works you can trust. So whether you're looking for information on food and pets, on Xbox versus Wii, or maybe just trivia from an old movie that you remember, that's the place to go. In any event, here's what happened. About a year ago, things were going great, and we were looking through our server logs to see what people were doing and how they were acting on the site. And we detected a pattern. We actually call this our duh moment, and it changed our company for good. You see, we realized that people were coming to Answers.com. They were asking, well, questions. They weren't looking for a full-blown rundown of the whole movie. In this particular case, maybe they just wanted to know whether the guy making the special effects did it himself or used some kind of a device. They wanted the human side of the information world. They wanted advice. They wanted dialogue. They wanted just to ask the enterprise a question and to get an answer. So we politely asked our Encyclopedia Almanacopedia guy to step aside and share the spotlight on stage with his new kid sister, our Q&A site, Wiki Answers. Wiki Answers uses the Q&A format. And of course, it uses wiki technology, which you may be familiar with from Wikipedia. The key, of course, to all this is community. And it works, too. In 2007, we were the number one fastest growing site in the US. In any event, let's look at the technology behind the people. Wiki Answers is a different kind of Q&A site. I'll give you a real life example to explain. Um, this is me. I drive a motorcycle to work. Here's my big monster machine. Um, well, that's my dream monster machine. This is my monster machine. In any event, I wear a helmet. And as many of you know who wear helmets, it gets pretty sweaty in there, especially in the summer. And after a while, you need to clean it. So I decided, hey, I'm going to go to Answers.com and find out how to clean my helmet. I typed in motorcycle helmet and got lots of great articles, but none of them answered this specific question. Next, I went to Wiki Answers. They gave me access to a community of hundreds of thousands of people, some of whom, of course, wear helmets. I could ask questions like, what helmet brand do you prefer? What are other uses for helmets, or whether I should be wearing a helmet at all? And this guy may tell me no. Anyway, these people are professionals. They're hobbyists. They're basically people who know stuff, and they're passionate about it. Now, we recognize in Wiki Answers that everyone has a different way of speaking. Everyone has a different way of asking questions, different words they use. And sometimes the same guy, depending on what mood he's in, will ask a question in 15 different ways. So while I may ask, how do you clean the inside of a motorcycle helmet, my friend Linda may ask, what's the best way to wash helmet padding? And then Arnold, down from accounting, who parks next to me, and I wish he wouldn't, asks, my wife says my helmet makes my hair smell. Help. Here's the thing, though. All three of us are really looking for the same thing, the one page that tells you how to clean the inside of a motorcycle helmet. So Wiki Answers collects this information in a database. We call them alternate wordings. Each time you ask a question, in this case, how should I clean my helmet, the system asks you whether some of the similar questions we have match. If you say yes, your wording joins other valid wordings for that particular question. To give you a sense of magnitude here, there are actually 242 ways to ask if Coca-Cola was ever green. And it wasn't. That was just an urban legend. The point is that essentially you've helped the next guy, even before dealing with the answer, you've helped him come up with another way that he can ask the question. Now let's get back to my scummy helmet. Essentially I found out from some of the answers that came in over the next day or so that you can use Windex, hot soapy water and a sponge, or you can just stick it in the dishwasher. In the meantime, I did some of my own research, and I found that there's actually a product called Helmet Fresh that you can spray inside your helmet and get it clean. The answer was exactly what I was looking for. So I went, took the other answers that were already there, and I improved it. I added this line there at the bottom that says, try using Helmet Fresh, available from Helmet Head Cycle Gear. Now, I consider myself a pretty helpful guy. However, there are plenty of people out there who are not all that quick, who kind of miss the target on their answers. Or perhaps they're malicious and intentionally vandalizing or putting in incorrect information. So we have a terrific community of volunteer supervisors who go through the site every day, cleaning questions up, recategorizing, and making sure that things are organized, easy to read, and clean, just like my helmet. Anyway, in a nutshell, Wiki Answers is about worldwide knowledge sharing. You ask the questions in whatever words you want, and people respond with helpful answers that can grow. And that's Wiki Answers. Q&A, the wiki way.